A few days ago, I made a video about installing the 10 watt laser module on my NEMA Labs NBS 6040 CNC router. I'll have a link to that video down below in the description. The laser worked well as expected, but I really wasn't happy with the way it mounted. You have to completely remove the router and the router mount to install the bracket that the laser module mounts to. I thought it would be a lot easier and faster to simply have a sleeve of some kind that will slip into the router mount and grip the laser module as you snug up the screws on the router mount. And with some careful measuring, you could get the center of the laser beam to be in the center line of the router mount. I took the laser module back off and did a little 3D modeling and used my 3D printer to print the green sleeve that you see here. Then I drew up a little test program using my VCarve Pro. The lines and circles in blue will be laser engraved and the black lines will be run with the router using a 1 8 inch end mill. I used a piece of cedar fence picket for the test and although it's a little rough you can see that the laser and the router are not lined up perfectly. The lasered crosshairs in the square box shape are shifted a little to the right and when you look at the circle pockets, you can clearly see that the laser circle is not concentric. So I went back to my 3D model and adjusted the opening for the laser module. And then I made a new STL file and 3D printed another one using a different color filament so I wouldn't confuse the two. I'm really surprised that I was close as I was with the first one because although the case for the laser module is square, at 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters, the nozzle is not centered in that square. Since the misalignment is really easy to spot when two circles are not concentric, I just made the next test with three circles. Here the router is cutting three shallow circle pockets. Then I removed the router from the mount and put the new sleeve in place. The circle on the left has a laser offset of one quarter of an inch. The one in the middle is offset one eighth of an inch. And the one on the right is offset 30 thousandths of an inch. Here is a picture of the results of this test. And although the camera angle probably skews it a little bit, it looks really close to me. I'm sure it's not perfect, but it's close enough for anything that I'll be doing. Now I've had some people ask me about getting the STL file for this so that they can 3D print their own. And while I'm happy to share it, I make no guarantees at all that it will work or be centered with your setup. If you have a laser module that is 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters, it should grip it fine. But remember that if the nozzle is not centered, you must make sure the gap where it squeezes together is 90 degrees to the gantry or it'll be way off. If you would like to get the STL file, just hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Just kidding. Then leave a comment below and tell me how to send it to you. That's going to do it for this one. Until the next one, thank you very much for watching.